Sunday and I'm on my birthday week vacation. Initially, it was gonna be my whole family on this trip, but um, mom and Jason backed out. So now it's just me and dad and we're on our way to Northern California, Mammoth and Lake Tahoe. And then after that, we're gonna go to Vegas. So I took the whole week off of work and it's the first time I've ever taken this amount of time off of work. So I feel kind of guilty. We already stopped and got some Starbucks. It is Sunday morning and it is 5.30. I woke up at four to get dressed and the car is all packed. We have so much shit in here. I don't know, I tried to pack light, but it didn't work out, so. I did bring my good camera. I'm just on my iPhone right now because I hadn't charged my good camera yet. So hopefully when we get out there, I can charge it and get some good shots. Very excited because the snow conditions in Mammoth right now and um, Lake Tahoe are very good. Like I heard, or I've been looking online that a lot of people are saying like it's the best conditions ever or like that they've ever been in Mammoth. So we might have to apply our chains for the roads. So we got some chains for our car and we are going to hopefully know how to do that. And if we don't, then we're gonna have to sit on the side of the road and watch a YouTube video of how to. <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm kind of nervous about the road conditions, but excited. So I'll keep you guys updated. Hello, I am off of 395 Highway and I am at Manzanar. It was an old camp for um, uh, soldiers of Asian descent. Were they Japanese? Japanese, I think. And um, during World War II, so this was the, the old camp that they would keep all the soldiers at. And they have like old bungalows. They have a watchtower out that way. So it's a neat little auto tour that you could do. Yay! This is our second stop, aside from McDonald's. We stopped in Mammoth and there was some snow. It wasn't as snowy as I thought it would be, but um, guess what guys, guess what? <laughs> Jessica took a tumble. I took a little tumble, okay? <laughs> we were exiting the parking lot and there is a little hill to go up to cross the street and the little hill had like a little bit of iciness. You know, nothing too major. So I have both of my hands in my pockets to keep my hands warm because it was pretty cold. And then I'm going up the hill and I have my tennis shoes on and bloop, I slip, I fall, and I have no hands to catch my fall or break my fall. And I just went face first into the snow. It was pretty embarrassing. Like, I hope nobody saw me. <laughs> my dad saw me. What would you rate that fall out of 10? <laughs> 10 plus. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was scary. I was telling my dad, you know how babies, when they fall, they first, like, they're in shock and then they cry? Like, it takes them a minute to cry. That's how I felt. I fell and then I just, like, got it to check to see if everything was okay. That was all right. That was pretty funny, though. So we didn't stay too long in Mammoth after that. I just, I don't know. And then we tried to go to Bodie right now, which is like an older 
historical town. It was an old mining town, and now it's all abandoned. It was been there since like the early 1900s or something. It's supposed to be haunted. I don't know, but we tried to go, and the sign said the road is closed. So, we'll have to do that another time. But, I'll see you guys when we get to Lake Tahoe. Nevada side of Lake Tahoe you can walk around the street with your drinks except when you cross the signal over yonder you're on the California side and you can't take your drinks with you on that side we're gonna stay on the Nevada side for now the drive up here was a different road than what we're used to and that was kind of like windy up in the mountains and there was a cliff over the street so it was kind of scary so Anyhow, so it's kind of a little bit snowy here. There's a lot of snow remnants on the road. Keep you guys updated. Yay. Okay guys, I am now in Harris Casino. Cruising it, chilling. I got my margaritas. Not a very good margarita, I'm sorry. Uh, but whatever, I still drink it. Anyhow, it's still pretty crowded, honestly, for a Sunday. Checked out Mount Blue Casino on the strip of like South Lake Tahoe and it wasn't that um, impressive. There goes dad. But it was really nice weather today. On the 395, it was nice and clear, luckily for us. Huh, wasn't there good weather on the 395 today? Oh, definitely, great weather. Yeah. We were hoping that it wasn't cloudy or snowy or rainy. And we hit a little fog patches in where? I had three beers already. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm off of the 15 from Hesperia. We took right. it. And there was a little bit of fog patches in the morning at like 6.30 and 7 in the morning, but it's odd that fog could happen in small patches like that, and then you just exit it and it's totally clear. Cheers! 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 <laughs> As you could see, it is very blistery in Virginia City today. It's 21 degrees out here. It's so cold that I kind of don't want to walk around because it's so freezing, but I don't know. Not everything is open either. Okay, I'm going to put my gloves back on. I got my hat out of the car. Hello. Um, it is now Monday and we are in Virginia City. We stopped at the roasting house to um, grab some warm beverages and some breakfast. It's snowing right now and it's really windy outside. It's really cold. I got my gloves. So we're gonna do a little bit of exploring. Can't stay too long because we don't wanna get caught in the storm. Maybe we'll go to the Washoe Club and take a look around. Um, you guys know I love Virginia City because it's like really historical and they have ghosts. So they also have a cemetery here. So maybe we'll go to the cemetery too. Yay. Hello. We took a little trip, a little walk down across from our Hyatt Regency Hotel. We checked in, we got back from Virginia City. We didn't spend much time there because there was like a snowstorm going on while we were there. And it was 21 degrees, it was freezing. And Virginia City is like a walk around the town type of city. So it was way too cold to even do anything. So we just left and we got back up the hill because we wanted to make sure we were um, better safer than sorry. Come to find out they have a private beach that um, we had never known about that we could have utilized on our last trip, but it's very beautiful. I love it. Last time I was here, I took a picture of the lake and it's my, my, uh, my background on my phone, like my screensaver. 
So I don't know if I could um, take another one, get a better one, but I don't, I don't know. That one I have is hard to beat, but you can see all the mountains have snow on them. Yay, it's snowing a little bit right now, I guess. Huh. Gonna go onto the pier with my dad. My nose is so red. Yeah, you can tell it's snowing like heck over there. Hello. Finally, I got my good camera charged up and everything's charged and ready to go. So I wanted to give you guys a tour of our room in Incline Village. Restroom. Got a little closet there. Got a mirror here. And then we have a balcony. It's super cold outside. That's like 12 degrees out here. It's super cold, but um, you could see it's been snowing a little bit. It's beautiful out here. There's supposed to be a big snowstorm coming tomorrow, <clears throat> but I love it. Okay, hopefully you guys don't fall, but um, today we're thinking about doing like skiing and snowboarding because there's a shuttle here that takes you from the hotel to the um, Diamond Peak Resort, which is a ski resort. It's still early morning. Hopefully when I edit this video that works well with my iPhone footage versus my camera footage. Oh, it's cold. I tried to sit on the little rocking chair, but it froze my butt. Watching the Real Housewives of New York City. I got my latte, almond milk. My birthday is tomorrow. I'm getting older. I've been obsessed with the snow lately. I guess because I'm like from Long Beach, there's not snow out there. So when I've experienced snow like recently, I don't know, it's just, it seems fun. But these last couple days here in Lake Tahoe have been kind of scary because they are having crazy snowstorms and we don't know if it's safe or not to drive around in. It kind of does put a damper on your activities, but it's still really beautiful to see. The plan was to stay a night in Mammoth, California, but um, unfortunately we had made the reservations for the room in Mammoth, but they canceled it last minute because they had restrictions due to COVID, which is understandable. We did stop in Mammoth though, just to check it out. And that's when I took a tumble. I told you guys I took a tumble. And then um, from there we drove up to South Lake Tahoe and we stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel and um, then I got really drunk. I had too many uh, drinks. I had three drinks and one tequila shot, which isn't really a lot, but I think it was just really bad tequila. And I hadn't eaten anything before then, so it really messed me up and it was like the worst, terrible stomach pain ever. So I was like barfing all night and morning. Um, so that was a crazy day. That was the start of our trip. Today, I don't know, just relaxing. I want another storm to come. I want to see the snow again. I want the snow. My dad says no because he says that we could get snowed in and we won't be able to leave and that sometimes car fluids get frozen and it messes with the car. I don't know. Um, the plan is to leave here tomorrow and head for Vegas. And uh, my brother is supposed to meet us out there. But um, I don't know how it's going to go because of the snow and the storms and stuff. So anyhow, I'll keep you guys updated any more fun activities that happen. So we are on our way 
to get some breakfast. And so we are in the car at the moment and we're starting it to get it all warmed up. And when we got here, I had left a cup of um, tea in the car overnight. And I told my dad, oh, I'm gonna go throw it out, I'll throw out the tea. But the tea is frozen. And there's still a lot in there. So even our water bottles got frozen overnight. Um, so I imagine if it could do that to like these liquids and it could do it to the car liquids and fluids. So I don't know how it's even gonna get unfrozen, but what fluids do we need for the car to run? Well, I hope they got like, uh, antifreeze. Antifreeze is kind of well, Anyhow, look at this car next to us. All that ice on the bottom of it, just frozen. Ooh, what does the dash say? 15. 15 degrees. 15 degrees. Oh. 70 degrees when we woke up. Oh my God. I forgot to tell you guys that I'm on this road trip with my dad. Hello again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, tell us your worries for tomorrow's snowstorm. Being snowed in, icy roads, heavy snow expected tonight through tomorrow. We gotta get down off this hill, that's what we gotta do. <laughs> that's not a hill, it's a mountain. True. It's not even warming up yet, huh? Mm -mm. I got the heater on, but it's not working. It's gonna take a while. We might have to rearrange our car too, we made a mess of it. We? You? No, 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 no. So when I got sick that one night, I had my tennis shoes on in the restroom, and I guess I didn't barf on the toilet. I guess I barfed on the floor, <laughs> and so my tennis shoes are dirty, so I have I have them in a bag. They may have a washing cabinet. And then my pants that I had on that night, too. It was just <sighs> terrible. Okay guys, we are gonna have some breakfast at this Turtle Creek station. Hopefully it's good. The roads are very slushy and icy. It's kind of scary, but I think our car is okay. Got some ice on the bottom, but. Alrighty. <laughs> Indoor dining, one party ordering. What? and early and beat the crowds. We're the only ones here. It's not too far from the hotel. So I got a breakfast sandwich. It's good, it's nice and warm, and I got tea. Me and dad were trying to figure out um, if this is a location where they filmed um, Bonanza because the street that we turned in on to get here is called Ponderosa Ranch Road. So it's around here somewhere, but I'm not sure if it's
display writing, what do you call it? On the sled when you go down the hill. Toboggan, whatever. It was so fun. But it gets tiring after a while because you have to walk back up the hill. So. Especially when you're not in shape. Me. That was so fun. And then, like, my snow pants that I have kept me nice and warm, my snow boots. Initially, it was really cold this morning, but the snow pants helped out a lot. And then I, like, doubled up on my um, puffer jackets. I have a puffer vest, and then I put on my pu other puffer jacket. So, that's nice and warm. Yay.